Welcome to an exciting solution video for the 2019 FRQ AP Statistics Exam, question number five. In this video, we're gonna share the answers and fully explain how to get them. This problem is a classic problem dealing with the normal distribution, gotta love it. All right, let's dive right into it. A company that manufactures smartphones developed a new battery that has a longer lifespan than that of a traditional battery. From the date of purchase of your smartphone, the distribution of the lifespan of the new battery is approximately normal with a mean of 30 months. That's pretty long, a couple years, right? And a standard deviation of eight months. Nothing's perfect. Sometimes the batteries last longer. Sometimes they last shorter. All right, but it does say that it follows an approximately normal distribution, which is really important. And without that, we probably couldn't do anything in this problem. Now, they do give us a little bit more information. For the price of $50, the company offers a two-year warranty on the new battery for customers who purchase a smartphone. The warranty guarantees that the smartphone will be replaced at no cost to the customer if the battery no longer works within 24 months from the date of purchase. So if the battery's life is less than 24 months for $50, they will fully replace it for you. Okay. Now, before we dive into part A, part B, and part C, I actually want to really do something that's really important. Anytime you read a problem that's normally distributed, it's important to make a model to show that. So here is a normal distribution, and what we know is it's smack dab in the middle, a z-score of zero, these would be z-scores, standard deviations from the mean, would be 30. Now, we have a standard deviation of eight, so if we go up one, some batteries will last 38, go up another standard deviation that's going up another eight would be 46, and then finally, going up another standard deviation. Now, this would be very, 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 very unlikely. But again, come on, anything's possible. Would be a battery that lasts for 54 months before being, you know, bad, I guess. But we also have the negative side is that some batteries last less. So we could go down one standard deviation. Once again, a standard deviation was eight months. So if we go down, that would take us to 22. If we go down another standard deviation, that takes us to 14 months. And this would be terrible if this happened, but if we could go down another standard deviation and the battery only lasts six months before needing to be replaced. But having this picture is actually going to really help us when we start to look at problems A, B, and C. Because if you know the mean, 30 months, and you know the standard deviation, eight months, and you know the shape is normal, well then it really helps us do a lot of really cool math with this data. All right, so let's dive into part A. In how many months from the date of purchase is it expected that 25% of the batteries will no longer work? Justify your answer. So we go back to the picture here. We're trying to find the bottom 25%. Again, the 25% would be the, again, go back to the question here. It says, we're trying to figure out how many months would the 25% of batteries no longer work. So this would be the bottom 25% where they no longer work. So we got to figure out, you know, where's 25%? Well, we obviously know that right in the middle is 50%. 50% are going to last less than 30 months. 50% are going to last more than 30 months. But where's the 25% mark? And that's the beauty of invert norm on our calculator. If you have a TID4 calculator, we could hit second VARS to pull up invert norm. And invert norm is designed to give you the z-score. Now, you have to type in the area. So I'm going to type in an area of 0.25. Now, with the new calculators, you actually have an option of choosing left, center, or right. Left would be at the bottom. Center would be in the middle. Right would be at the top. Well, we are clearly looking at that bottom 25% of cell phone batteries and how long they're going to last. So I'm going to actually leave it on left. Now, if you don't have this um, row here for tail on your TI calculator, it actually means it's automatically set to left, which means you're not allowed to switch from left to right or center. You're always stuck in left mode. So in that case, you'd also want to include the 0.25 because that's exactly what we want. We want to look at the bottom 25% and the bottom would be to the left. Now, if you don't have a TI-84 calculator, you're going to have to use one of our T or excuse me, our uh, normal model tables and actually look up the 25% at the bottom to get the z-score. But the beauty of having this on our calculators is it gives us a z-score of negative 0.674. So a z-score of negative 0.674 represents that. So that's going to be about, uh, about right here, right? Somewhere right around here. This is going to represent the 25% that are at the bottom. 
in that first quartile, I guess you could look at the bottom 25%, right? So again, that's a Z-score of negative 0.674. But now what I have to do is actually solve for how many months that is. So I'm going to use my Z-score formula. Z-score formula is pretty straightforward. Everybody should know that by now, right? So I'm going to actually replace the Z-score of negative 0.674. I'm solving for X. I know the mean is 30. I know the standard deviation is 8. So step one is multiplying the standard deviation over. And then the next step would be to add the 30 over. So negative 0.674 times 8 plus 30 is my value. And this is going to be my justification, right? The work is my justification. So I'm going to go and grab my calculator. And let's see here. Negative 0.674 times 8 plus that 30. And I get 24.608. So if a battery lasts 24.608 months, which would be a little bit more than 24 months, then anything below that is going to be in that bottom 25% of batteries that will no longer work. Okay, part B. Suppose one customer who purchases the warranty is selected at random. What is the probability that the customer selected will require a replacement within 24 months from the date of purchase because the battery no longer works? So now we're going to try to figure out what percentage of people are actually going to have one of these batteries that would get replaced if you bought the warranty. So remember, the warranty starts at 24 months. 24 months is, again, somewhere right around here, right? 22 here, 30 here, 24 months right around there. So now we actually first have to find the Z-score for 24 months. So again, to find the Z-score, we're going to take 24 minus 30 and divide it by our standard deviation. So grab a calculator. Now, when you do use your calculator here, make sure you do that numerator first, 24 minus 30. You can even do that in your head. You should know that's negative six. Then divide by the eight. So that's a Z-score of negative 0.75. Now, this is actually really, really close to that bottom 25%. But remember, the bottom 25% was actually a little bit more than 24 months. So this is going to be slightly different than that, but very ever so slightly. So now what we have to figure out is, well, you know, let me actually write down what the question said. We're trying to find out the um, probability that a battery lasts less than 24 months. Because if a battery lasts less than 24 months, that's when the, the, the warranty is going to kick in and they're going to get a brand new smartphone with no cost. But again, we have to look at a Z-score less than negative 0.75. That was our Z-score. So our calculator is not, or, or if you're going to use a normal table, if you don't have a calculator, it's not designed to look at 24 months, but it is designed to look at Z-scores. So finding the probability that a battery lasts less than 24 months is equivalent to the probability that a Z-score is less than negative 0.75. So I'm going to grab my calculator. Now, if you have a calculator, this is really nice and simple. Second VARs, we're going to go to normal CDF. So all we got to do here is put in a lower Z-score to an upper Z-score. So we're going to look all the way down from negative 99. I'm using negative 99 to basically act like negative infinity. We're going to look way to the left, and we're going to stop at an upper value of negative 0.75. So we're looking below that Z-score of negative 0.75. And we get a probability of 0 .0, 0, excuse me, 0 0.2266. So 0.2266. So there's about a 22.66% probability that somebody is going to actually require a brand new phone because their battery lasted less than 24 months. So again, if I look back here, what we just found is that less than 24 months a Z-score of negative 0.75. This um, is about 22%. Actually, you know, I'm sorry, my drawing is not perfect. I'm not great. It would actually be a little bit lower. It'd be a little bit over here would be that 24-month mark. But anyway, I was just being approximate when I drew my picture. You get the idea. Okay, pretty cool, pretty simple. Not too bad. Now, if you do have one of those normal tables because you don't have a TID4 calculator, you would have to look up the negative 0.75 Z-score and cross paths with the first digit and the second digit, and then you would get that 0.2266. All right, part C says the company has a gain of $50 for each customer who purchases a warranty but does not require it. Now think about that for a second. What they mean by that is you purchase a warranty for $50. If you don't 
ever use it because your battery lasts longer than 24 months. Your battery's good. It's not bad. The company keeps $50. That, that's a gain for them. But the company has a loss, a negative gain of $150 for each customer who actually buys the warranty and requires it. So if you purchase the warranty and you actually use it because your battery was less than 24 months, then the company loses money because they had to give you a brand new cell phone, which is apparently costing them $150. So the question is, what is the expected value of the gate for the company for each warranty purchase? So to do this, I have to create a little expected table, a little probability model. So first we have the idea of what is the gain for the company, right? Well, first off, they can gain $50. But what has to happen for them to gain $50? Or basically, what's the probability? Now, what has to happen for them to gain $50 is that you don't use your warranty, which means your battery lasts more than 24 months. Now, in the previous problem, we just found out that the probability that a battery lasts less than 24 months was 0.2266. So the opposite of that would be the probability that the battery lasts more than 24 months. So if I just grab my calculator and do 1 minus 0.2266, this is the probability that I don't require the warranty because my battery lasts longer than 24 months. So 0.7734. So that means if you purchase the $50 warranty, there's a 77.34% chance that you don't have to use it because your battery lasts longer than 24 months and the company gets the gain, that $50 that you gave them. Now, the opposite would be a negative $150. It's important to understand that that's a negative because that's a, that's a loss. It's not a gain. Now, that would only happen if the probability of your um, battery is under 24 months. So again, this would be the 0.2266. This would be that your battery lasts less than 24 months. Hence, when you... If, if it were to break because it lasts less than 24 months, you turn it in, you get a you get a brand new phone, which is a, a loss to the company. It's a gain to you, but it's a loss to the company. So this is really it. This is the only thing that can happen. Either the company keeps your $50, which happens 77.34% of the time, or the company has to spend $150, $150 to give you your new phone because your battery lasted less than 24 months. So now to find the expected value for this, which we can use an E for the expected value, or remember a mean is is an expected value. Well, all we have to do is take each outcome. So we're going to take the $50 outcome, multiply it by its probability. And we're going to add to that. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of room here. So I'm going to go vertical. Add to that the other outcome, which is a negative $150 times its probability. And it's really, the math is really that simple. So we're going to take the outcome of 50 times the probability of 0.7734. And we're going to add to that the negative $150 outcome times its probability of 0.2266. And this will give me the expected value in the long run. An extra six there. Sorry about that. So in the long run, the company expects to gain, that is a positive number, $4.68 per customer. So the expected value in the long run is a gain of $4.68 per customer. So if the company were to repeat this, they sell many, 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 many cell phones. 77.34% of all of those, many, many, many cell phones that purchase the warranty, they keep, they keep the $50, that's a gain. But 22.66% of the time, they lose $150. So in the long run, if we were to look at the long run, many, 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 many cell phones, then the average gain would be $4.68. So in the long run, the company is going to make $4.68 for every person who buys the warranty. Yes, sometimes they keep the $50, and yes, sometimes they have to actually lose $150, but in the long run, they gain $4.68. So pretty easy math there, nothing overly complicated, but you do have to have a pretty good understanding of those ideas. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully it made a lot of sense. It's really a question that deals with the normal model, which is a probability model for a random variable, and here the random variable is, how long is my battery going to last? And hopefully I've walked through the problem pretty well, and you understand how to do all the parts. All right, thanks for watching. Enjoy more.